Welcome back, everyone. Imagine what it would be like to be homeless in Utah, especially during the Thanksgiving and holiday season. Joining us now to talk about how we can help is Chris Crosswhite in the sponsored interview. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Okay, it is the holiday season. We are fast approaching Thanksgiving. Yeah. A big event happening, but we need help. We need dollars. We need volunteers. We do. So the Rescue Mission is sponsoring our Renewed Hope Thanksgiving Banquet, which is on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And that is a banquet. It's a full Thanksgiving meal. It, it, it's haircuts, it's clothes, it's showers, it's crisis counseling, it's referrals to um, our inpatient recovery program and other recovery programs. And what we're really trying to do at that banquet is help to renew the hope in a homeless person's life so that they know there is hope out there. And if they have hope, they can pursue life change. Because a meal is so much more. And during this night, they're getting the resources and potentially being able to be helped with the things that they might need most at that time. Yes, if all you're worried about is the basics in life, if all you're worried about where am I gonna have a meal, where am I gonna sleep, where am I gonna use the restroom, then it's really difficult to concentrate on anything else. But if we, it, the rescue mission provides those basic services and then loves and encourages people so they have that hope they can join our new life program and pursue real life change. You know, as we shared, unfortunately, this past year, we have 8,000, excuse me, um, yeah, 8,600 people that are homeless for the first time in Utah. And right now we have over 900 people living on our streets. So this is an increase. Mm -hmm. These are 8,600 new homeless? Yeah, for the first time. For the first time. This yeah. population continues to grow. The need is so great here in Utah. Mm -hmm. And we need to find a way that they can have sustainable living uh, places to, to be and to not have to rely necessarily on the rescue mission itself. But this is a time where we can really put our arms around them and help them out. Yeah, our goal is to be really a temporary respite so we can help them out of homelessness. People can learn more about the rescue mission and how we help restore lives and return people to self-sufficiency by going to our website, which is rescuesaltlake.org. Org. We need help with volunteer prep to prep our volunteer meals. So people can go to our website or email us at volunteer at rescuesaltlake.org because we're a privately funded um, uh, we're a privately funded organization. So the only way we can help people off our streets is if people help us help people off the street. So to to learn more about us, hit our website and you can sponsor meals at our banquet. We're also in need of just the basics of life, things like coats and um, shoes and socks and toothpaste and toothbrushes, things like that just things to help our homeless Things for day-to-day -day living. Also, you're asking people to volunteer for prepping, not necessarily the day of? Yeah, okay. so we are almost completely full for the day of for the banquet. We have, have set such a great turnout, but it's gonna take us days to get ready for that banquet. So we need people's help with with um, cutting up fruits and vegetables and mashing potatoes and all of those things for several days before the banquet. And so just contact the information right there on your screen. But would you suggest that families go or just adults only? So we would suggest actually families. We, we recommend that children 10 and above come because what we really wanna do is we wanna protect our younger children so they may hear or see things that they're uncomfortable with. But that comes down to parental discretion, but our encouragement is 10 and, and above. It could be such a learning experience for the whole family. Yeah, and that can be a great educational element for the family on the danger of drugs and alcohol and addiction that parents can use to teach their children as well. Making this Thanksgiving banquet the best ever. Chris, thank you so much from the Rescue Salt Lake Mission. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.